Today, I'm taking a look at the Warmia G75 Coffee Team Keyboard, which is priced at $99 US for the pre-built and $69 for the bare bonds kit. In the box, you get the user manual, which include the hotkeys and some of the backlight instructions, a few extra keycaps without the illustrations on them, a USB-A to USB-C cable which is pretty okay, a bag of spare screws for the keyboard, a soft tip brush and a few extra silicone gaskets. So here is the G75 gasket mounted coffee team keyboard. The layout is a 75% compact layout and it does come with a knob on the top right. From the side, you can see that the case is this translucent coffee brownish color and the keycaps here look like they have cream on them and it's the same with the other side with the knob. The front and the back is the same translucent brown plastic but you do get the on off switch right next to the type C part on the back. Below the keyboard, there's four rubber feet here to hold it in place and you also can see that the case is really glossy and it does attract a lot of fingerprints. The RGB here is very bright, it does have some underglow RGB and per key RGB for the keys so it is very bright and does shine through the translucent case nicely. This is what the RGB looks like shining through the sides and the keyboard. Okay, so the keycaps here are obviously coffee themed and they are really unique. They are double shot PBT ASA profile keycaps, so they are quite tall and it does have coffee illustrations on some of the keys. It does look pretty nice and it wraps around the keycaps in certain parts and the legends here are double shot and they are transparent so the RGB will shine through them. But not only that, even the switches that come with the keyboard are coffee themed. The switches here look like brown switches but they are not tactile, it's called the coffee linear switch and it has an actuation force of 40 grams, comes pre-lubed out of the box and has a two-stage spring so it bounces back slightly faster than a normal spring. The stabilizers here are screw in steps and that's really great to see but sadly they are not pre-lubed at all so they do rattle quite a lot when you are typing. As for the PCB, it's a south facing 5 pin hot swap PCB so this is really great and the standard now. Alright so I've covered the more basic stuff about the keyboard, now it's time to disassemble it and see what is inside. To open up the keyboard, there's the allen key included that you can use but for me I'm just going to use my screwdriver to speed things up. If you're following this, here are the basic steps. Step 1, remove the knob. Step 2, flip over the keyboard and remove the 10 screws holding the bottom case in place. Step 3, remove the top frame and slowly lift up the PCB so you can unplug the daughter board from it. That's the basic stuff, now let's see what mods are included. So on the bottom part of the case, of course you get the daughter board previously mentioned on the top left corner. And there's also this huge piece of silicone included with the Warmia logo on it for the bottom case. The top frame just has a few of the screw holes and cutouts for the gasket mount. The plate and PCB here has a piece of EVA foam at the back of the PCB to dampen the sound. And from the back here I can also see that they are using CIY hot swap sockets for this PCB. Surrounding the sides of the plate is all of the gaskets here and they use these kind of silicone rubber nips to cover the sides. As for the mods here, it's actually pretty hard to see with the lighting I have but I'll read through what they have here. First off, there's an IXPE switchpad on the PCB and there's also an IXPE plate form to help with the sound and the plate over here is a polycarbonate plate so it is quite flexible. Overall, I would say that this keyboard has some pretty nice mods included and the only downside for me is honestly the stabilizers which do not come loose at all. But if you do want to mod this keyboard yourself, it's actually pretty easy to disassemble and mod it yourself. Alright, so now let's listen to the typing sound test.
So here is my conclusion from using the Warmia G75. First off, it's a really great pre-built keyboard for right under a hundred US dollars. But for the design, I think that some people will like it and some people may not. Second thing to note is that there is a lot of mods included here and it does make the keyboard sound much better. So at the end of the day, if you like how it looks and how it sounds, the link to the Warmia G75 will be in the description below. And thanks to Warmia for sending over this pretty unique keyboard for a review. So that's it for this video. See you in the next keyboard review and make sure to subscribe and check out other reviews I have on my channel.